Hi, Chris Velasquez here from New England Saltwater. I'm here with BJ Silver from Minkota. And today we're going to talk about this new thing that is coming all over the Northeast. People are fishing differently using trolling motors. You know, typically it's a Florida or a freshwater thing, but people like Pete, uh, BJ and myself have been using them up here in the Northeast with great success. BJ, you want to take a minute and run us through the features and how you use the trolling motor? Yeah, it's, it's something I, I can't live without now. I, I fish it so much that uh, it really takes almost the weather element out of my day of fishing. I know I'm going to be able to control my boat in almost any weather condition and I don't have to worry about anchoring and, and swinging uh, this feature here. I can actually deploy it right from my Solix, which is pretty cool. Press a button right there on your Solix, and you can also do it from a remote control. Uh, also with a remote, so if you don't have a Hummingbird unit, you can still control it, the Minn Kota, but uh, you can have the iPilot link right into your Solix. You can control all the features right here, your trim and tilt right up and down, um, anything you want to do, spin the motor. If I want to press, if I want to anchor, all I do is press this button right here, boat's anchored. Um, and it will hold you, there's no swing. It will hold you on a pimple. They call it spot lock, but it's actually dot lock. That's how effective it is. Uh, and one of the other great features of the spot lock is if you set up and you're not quite where you want to be, you can jog and go over five feet at a time. You can go forward, you can go back. You can go left, you can go right. So you can get real tight precision anchoring on the structure that you want to hit. Right, and if you want to slow troll something, slow troll a bunker, you can set your, uh, whatever case you want to do here, you can go up to, you know, I'd like to, I troll for Albies, I troll slow troll bunker, um, and you're nice and quiet, you're stealth. Um, you can turn it, you can you know, control the boat. If I want to keep it, in a, just on one course, I press the north up button, it'll actually hold me on that line. So, which we can, it's basically hands free fishing now. Are uh, you controlling your boat? Uh, I used to try to uh, power drift a fluke uh, with my big motor. Now I don't have to do that. Now I can hands free, I'm fishing, but the motor's pulling. So, if you don't have a drift, you can create a drift. And to add on to what he was talking about with the autopilot mode, one of the things that we do, we fish in four feet of water on the crest of the wave from the beach. And when you're getting pulled from the bow, when you have your your autopilot on, it keeps you straight, it keeps you from getting washed in the waves and the wind blowing you off your mark or into the into the shore. It's a safer alternative while you can go around and move around the boat and help people catch their fish. And you talk about safety, it's anchoring is dangerous. Um, there's a lot of guys that'll you'll be on a spot and there's a boat motoring right at you, a boat coming right at you, and you wanna you wanna try to hopefully they, they see you and hopefully they turn the boat. If you're not sure. You're not fixed to the bottom now. Now all you got to do is press a button and drift off your spot. And if the boat didn't see, you can drift right by them. So it's definitely a safety feature, especially with guys fishing by themselves. And, you know, anchoring can get a little hairy by yourself. So it's a nice little feature there where you don't, uh, it's a little bit safer anchoring. And it's totally adaptable to other types of fishing. I mean, I've used it for shark fishing. I've used it for getting mackerel. I've used it for bucket around a little bit. Yeah. yeah if you're days with no drift, you get yeah. to get your drift. I used it for snagging pogies on windy days when they're down deep. Um, there's just the possibilities are endless. I've had it for a season. I can't wait for season two. I already get ideas of how I want to fish it up in Newburyport, and it's just been a fantastic addition to the boat. I don't know what I would do without it, and you know, give it a shot. And the funny thing is, you'll stay up all winter trying to figure out ways. You won't get any sleep because you're thinking of ways to use it <laughs> the following year. So, so, so yeah. So. I'm gonna show it to Boy. Let's uh, put it away.